A very good morning to everyone. You must be surprised to see me. I am sure many of you are knowing me, but many of you might not be knowing me. My name is Manisha, and I am the coordinator for Three to Fifth, and also I am an English teacher. So today I will be taking your revision of the chapter, a, a light for the palace fire. I will just be giving you a crux of the story, so that when you read it. you already know the story but you can have an intrigued view of the chapter all right so let's get started this is a story about a fire that was lighting in a palace the fire that never withered off but one fine day what happened there the fire was no more burning it extinguished and everyone was amazed it was they were shocked they were even petrified because it was very cold and it was this fire who was keeping them warm few of them said because people in the palace fought a lot this fire went off few of them said that it was because of the cold weather nobody was knowing the exact reason so everyone in the palace was freezing because it was very cold and there was no medium of keeping them warm rather leaving this fire so the king told the messenger to go down the lane and bring some embers embers means burning coals piece of coal that is burning that is known as embers the same the messenger did the same he went down asking for the piece of coal a burning piece of ember an ember he was repeating it again and again when he was going he took a lantern in his hand lantern means you must have seen um, in olden days there used to be um what should i put it as there there used to be a way of keeping the light on because there were no bulbs no tube lights so a lantern was used right in which they used to put oil and they used to light it up earlier before that they used to put coals now you can find it in haveli because we people don't use lanterns at home right in other words it is called as a lantern in hindi it is mentioned as lantern so lantern came from word lantern right so he took an iron lantern so that he can bring embers on the way he was just uh, speaking out a light for the palace fire a light for the palace fire who will give me some coal for the light for the palace fire so there he met a man who said i will give you a coal he was very happy the messenger said finally i have got so he took the coal and he put it in his lantern but the man was very greedy he said in turn i want a piece of gold messenger did not say anything and he went back to the palace while he was going back the fire withered off it was no more burning the coal became gray and it was just ashes so he threw the messenger threw it away and he again started searching with the same line a light for the palace fire who will give me the light for the palace fire so there he met a girl called jina Jina agreed to give but with the condition that king will make Jina's father as the head of the guards the messenger did not say anything again he took the lent the embers put it in the lantern and he went to the palace on the way again the burning coal did not help and it again became cold and he has to throw it away at last towards the last of the hill he saw that there was a house and it was having some burning coal he as soon as he knocked there came a small little girl who was who opened the door and when the messenger repeated the thing who will give me a piece of coal for the palace fire the girl repeatedly said this while stirring her porridge you know what is a porridge do you all eat oats or dalia that is porridge basically dalia is known as porridge you should always eat porridge because it is very healthy for you 
stop eating junk it will know where help all right coming back to the topic so she was stunning and she said that no matter you take it from us but before that come sit close to the fire warm yourself have some porridge you must be feeling hungry the messenger did the same what did he do he sat he made himself warm and as soon as he finished his porridge the girl told her told him to take some piece of coal the messenger took the brightest coal and put it in his lantern as soon as he started moving back to the palace on the way he felt as if it was daylight like sun and he was feeling warm when he reached the palace the coal was still burning now they lit the fire the fire was again burning in the palace then the messenger understood why only this coal was burning and not others because the girl was not greedy she was having selfless love she loved everything and she knew that it was important to give so she agreed right so this chapter is basically teaching us to give without expecting always love others always be kind always be generous always be lovable to others but don't expect anything from others in turn your parents love you they don't expect anything from you right we love our parents and we don't expect similarly your best friends are why your best friends because they love you unconditionally right so this lesson tells us that we should have selfless love we should not be selfish we should always be happy and we should always help others all right students read the chapter carefully bye bye take care